was actually don't see my backside. <laughs> Hello my friends. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the 17th. Okay. I've done the non what's it called? No heat, no heat curls. Okay? So I didn't have you get these tube things that you can buy from Amazon and all that. I'll see how this works out and I might order the proper tube. Um I use the belt to my bathrobe <laughs> is what I used and once you get the hang of it it's quite easy there's loads and loads and loads of videos on how to do this on YouTube um, okay I have some friends have just popped over to drop Rico and I off a little gift for our 40th wedding anniversary <laughs> which I still don't know what I'm gonna wear to so it's on Sunday we're going out, Rico and I are going out to the Ivy on Sunday. We're, we're, we're planning a cruise as well to celebrate it properly. But it'll probably be later on in the year. Um, but on Sunday we're just going to go out for dinner. This looks like a Jo Malone candle to me with the matches. <laughs> I, wonder what, I wonder what smell it is. I wonder what scent it is. I don't know. I'm not going to open it yet. Well, what's today? Did I say the 17th? Right, so remember when I did the video on Rico and I getting married? I said we got married twice because in those days, 40 years ago, we couldn't just get married in the Greek Orthodox Church. We, need to, we needed to have a civil wedding, so get registered. So we got registered on the Friday, which was the 18th, then had our big fat Greek wedding on the Sunday which was the 20th but officially on paper we're married on the 18th but we celebrate the 20th so apparently 40 years I'm gonna open the card and start putting the cards it's also Father's Day on Sunday and it was Father's Day when we got married 40 years ago I'm gonna see if I can somehow get that footage of our wedding and put it up on YouTube. First card on your Ruby anniversary. Congratulations on 40 wonderful years together with lots of love, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I have another box here, which I ordered. I should have my little opener in here. Where's my little? Here it is. My desk is an absolute mess. I will come back and show you what my hair is like. Rico's downstairs cooking. So this is FM World. And what they specialise in is perfumes and scents and candles and all of that that resemble other ones. Oh God, who is that's the girls gossiping? Yeah, is it? It's the girls. My phone's going crazy. Um... So, Ruth had bought me one, remember ages and ages ago I had told you Ruth had bought me 906 because she knows I love Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So this is supposed to be very much like this. This costs a fortune um, and this maybe £30, can't remember, no more than that anyway. And I kid you not, look, that's all I had left. And I kid you not, every time I use this, people comment. People tell me how beautiful I smell. They really, really do. I'll try and link it below. Okay, I'll try and link the site below. Um, and uh, if you message me on Instagram, I'll send you a copy of, of what the perfumes resemble like because there's no way of knowing when you look at it that pure royal royal is like the tom ford but there's there's a list um that you can anyway it's, it's quite complicated so i basically in here is another one of them hopefully because that's what i ordered very well packaged the last time it was ruth that ordered it for me so i don't know um, I didn't know what the packaging was like. Well, I thought I was going to get some free samples with it. I didn't. 
how disappointing. That's how it, it comes packaged. And it's just going to look like that bottle there. So it's a 50ml bottle. Honestly, I need to look at my emails to see how much it was. But it's well worth it. I, I mean, I really like it and that's... There we go. And that's why I ordered another one. So... I use it on an everyday basis because it's not like this which costs an arm and a leg this is cheap so it's good to use on an everyday basis and it's not because it's cheap that I use it it's because I actually really really like it and I get so many comments oh my god I'm doing all the khaki look today like lovely jubbly I'm loving that colour just now can't remember if I've told you before but it's um Susie the first lady of nails I'll link that below as well for you if I can if I don't link it, it means I can't <laughs> okay that's my update actually do you know what I am gonna open up that Joel Malone candle and see so we've got here Pomegranate Noir Body and Hand Lotion. Very nice. Obviously the matches. Joe Malone. Pomegranate Noir. Oh, I love it. It's my favourite. My absolute favourite scented candle. Beautiful. I could burn that in my sitting room. I'm going to put the matches downstairs with the candles as well. We need to use... Oh, look! Rico and Andre have a lovely anniversary. Oh! What a great idea for an anniversary gift. These particular friends are the type that always are really good with um, gift giving. Okay. That's my update today. I'm going to tidy up here, go and do some washing up for Rico and I've got Georgie later on as well because George is going to go and help his dad today at a function and Ruth is away to a concert. So I get Georgie. Okay, just gone and done a bit of washing up. Rolled the sleeves up, got the rubber gloves on. But meanwhile, I posted on Instagram my Joe Malone candle and I didn't notice when I opened it up that it's actually engraved Happy Ruby Anniversary and it was actually Jules that noticed that when I posted the candle on Instagram so I put a wee cheeky Prosecco before Georgie comes because I had salmon and avocado and I thought a wee cheeky Prosecco just the one bottle <laughs> no, I'm kidding I'm kidding right I'm getting sick of this so I'm gonna take it off and see what it's like should really be left in longer but I'm fed up so let's do it let's see Ow, if I got any curls so right so what they do is they do this and they pull this and they do this but that's with the proper thing and that's not happening with me I'll tell you oh how oh. oh I forgot to take <laughs> maybe I should take these off first it would help it come off that's, this was the hardest part getting these at the bottom So the idea is you do this before you go to bed and you sleep in these. I sleep on the side, so I don't know if, how comfortable that would be. Right, let's try that again, right? No. Ow! No, I'm going to have to unroll it. Oh, it feels curly. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think I need to get this for my Instagram as well. Hold on. 
I'm impressed. Hold on, got the phone. Let's do a hands free. I have to share, I'm sharing a lot on Instagram. Really, honestly, follow me on Instagram. I really have been enjoying Instagram. Hold on. Show, look! Oh, wow! I did not expect this. Look at this. <gasps> wow! <laughs> oh my god, people! Look! So, all you need is the belt from your dressing gown. Okay, you double it up, you put it in the centre of your head, get a clip, you clip it on, you centre your hair down the back like that, you get one strand of hair, okay, you, hold on, it's quite hard to do here, right, but you basically just wrap it round there, okay, like so, then you get the next strand of hair from here so the next bit of strand join it onto that bit and wrap it round and then you keep doing that and then the next bit of hair and wrap 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 and then i just drained it at the back as you had seen and then you get these curls without any heat on your hair so the, i mean look at that come on look at that Oh, I forgot I was still filming. <laughs> still my Instagram. I completely forgot about you. Sorry. Honestly, you should follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> Cheers. And the sun's out. Everywhere else in the UK, by the way, is having a heat wave. Up here, we woke up to what Rico said was when he opened the blinds this morning, his exact words were, it's pissing down. That's what he said but it's dried up now but it's not a heat wave anyway let me get organized before georgie arrives okay georgie has arrived she's just had her last day at nursery haven't you let me see your face <gasps> what's happened oh a big balloon oh that they're great fun those balloons I don't open them. would you like me to do it for you or will Daddy do it for you? Yeah. That's going to take me forever. Daddy do it. Big hills. Big, big hills. Yeah, Hold on, Lily's all tangled up. Yeah. <laughs> so the deal was, if we come this way, which is Georgie's favourite way, I don't have to carry her because it's all downhill. <laughs> so we're out on our walk and let me tell you, honestly the rest of the UK having a heat wave. I am in my winter coat ready to put on a pair of gloves and a scarf and ready to actually I'm ready to get my jammies on. <laughs> I'm more than ready to get my jammies on and cozy up. Georgie's doing an overnight so because George will be finishing late, no doubt. I think he's going to pick for us up after the concert as well when he finishes work. <sighs> it's a fox. Lily has just clocked the fox. Lily, get back! <laughs> to make a wish.
happening. This one's thirty pounds, but I'm just I'm just not feeling all of this. Again, I'm not liking all of this. This is the same jean in a lighter colour. So these are four to five pounds. Boot cut, high rise. I'm not liking the rose gold buttons. Again, rose gold buttons. These are the same colour as the ones I've already got. So I'll probably not go for these. To the 18th welcome to Saturday so I've been to Primark I've been to Boots I've been to next and I've had my color done so I've just had the roots done so I'll have dark roots um, so that's what I've been up to this Saturday what time is it it's one o'clock so I have Oh, I'm sorry about that. You fell and I wasn't even moving the car. I want to get some lipstick on because I feel my lips are a bit dry. Oh, I picked up the wrong lipstick. Oh, I picked up Tom Ford. Get the sparkles on. <laughs> How did I end up doing that? Silly belly, I mean, I, would just, I should have just put lip gloss on, that's what I should have just put on. I spread that about. Okay, so I went to next. Feels if there's something missing out the bag. Um, I went to next and I got a pair of jeans because all my jeans are just not fitting me right just now since I've lost weight. You've probably seen they're really quite baggy. So I got a pair of these ones from next, got in a size 10, which is my size. I went for this kind of indigo colour. Is that indigo? I don't know. But I didn't go for the light ones. I didn't go for the dark ones. I went for the in-between ones. I have this style in the dark ones, but they're straight-legged. These have got, these are uh, a boot cut leg. So you saw them on, so I picked them up. My phone is going crazy. I didn't pick up a nail varnish. I'm right into these khaki colours. What is this? Totally played 540. Oh, love it. I picked up the wee orange t shirt 350. Uh, what else did I get? I got these shorts and they had these in all the different colours. I love these. Got these in a 10. I couldn't, I try, was trying on both the 12 and the 10 because pre mark can be quite weird, but there was just too much extra material with the 12. Although I could have got the 12, I would get the 12 quite happily, but I just picked up the 10. I felt they looked nicer. Five pounds, and I got that matching top. This, this feels like linen, size 10, nine pounds. That's quite dear. I just liked the way the two look together, and I think that'd be an easy top with denims and things as well so what else did I get I showed you the orange top oh I got the cycling shorts as well I don't really suit such cycling shorts but these are shorter and I think that's why they suited me so I got them in a small 10 12 of course these are UK sizes and which is a U USA 6 8 just in case anybody's wondering and um they were how much four pounds and i like them on but sometimes you try things on in the shops and you think you like them and um when you try them on at home you don't so i bought them because i like the look of them 
I, I will, I think I will get a few more of these, but I didn't want to do that thing where you try one pair of shorts on, you like them, then you get a variety of them and then it gets boring when you've got the same style all the time. So, oh, my phone is buzzing like crazy. So, I keep my receipts. That's it. I still haven't decided what I'm going to wear today, tomorrow even. Still carrying my pochette metis, which I love, which I actually want to sit and do a review on today. Some young girls beside me here noticed that I am vlogging. But that is life, people. Life is about vlogging now. It's quite common. I think I'm going to let her drive out, actually, first. People are wearing shorts, man. Bloody cold. Okay, I'm in short sleeves. I was rushing around like a pure lunatic this morning because I had Georgie and I was getting her ready for Bali for her dad to come and she decided she didn't want to get ready. <laughs> so, let me tell you. See, when I left the house this morning, the bed was half made. The bathrooms hadn't been cleaned. Um, I didn't have breakfast. I, Honestly, the problem was Georgie was enjoying her sleep this morning and I thought I'm not going to wake her up, just let her enjoy her sleep and I should have because then that just held me back. So obviously she was sleeping in my bed so I couldn't make the bed. She still needed to brush her teeth so I couldn't clean the bathroom. Um, so honestly I, I threw the basket of, wa of washing at Rico and I says to him, can you just uh, stick that in the washing machine because so I basically got nothing done I started making the bed like I still had to have I kind of made it but I still had to have the, to put the bedspread on it Um I don't know if Rico's decided to finish it off I really don't so I'm gonna go home organize my house get my makeup on and um, I want to do a review on that Pichette Metis and um, eat my porridge because I'm hungry. I didn't even soak my porridge. So, and I'm, I'm glad I'm feeling hungry because I think I overdid it a wee bit yesterday. So, anyway, so I'm buying shorts and things because I'm going on holiday. <laughs> Positive thinking. See, this is what I'm aiming for. But yeah, I'm, everybody's wearing, like, dressed like it's summer and it's cold. That's why, I, that, that's what I was saying. I was, I was harassed this morning. I, I just ran out, threw on an old t-shirt because I always managed to get dye on my t-shirt. I've got it on the one side here this time. So I always wear old clothes to the hairdressers. Um, and as I was running out, because it's, it's cold out there, because he'd already been out doing his deliveries, but I was, you know, because I was rushing about, I was not feeling the cold at this point. Anyway, I need to decide as well what I'm going to wear. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day. I just, I, I don't know what to wear. I don't know. I, I'm, I get that, that, that. I like to dress for going out for dinner. It's a special occasion. It's at a nice restaurant. But it's on a Sunday and it's four o'clock. And I also, I think I would like to go in earlier so I can have a wee look around the shops. Um, Chanel have launched their new nail varnishes. I don't know. They've got a white one and I like the Chanel white. And I know, you know, once it's on your fingers, nobody can tell. If it's Chanel or whatever, but that's not the point. When you're into more luxury things, it's not about the other people knowing, it's about you knowing and how it makes you feel and all of that. So out of all the colours, the one I was most attracted to, I think, is the white and the green one. Right into greens just now. Like, green is not one of my favourite colours, but it's certain greens. Like, I'm loving this. OPI one, absolutely love it. Honestly, I have so many people comment on it. I think it's because everybody's so used to 
everybody wearing white nail varnish like wearing a darker nail varnish in the summer I love it so I went for the the shade lighter oh my goodness me um, so I went for the uh, uh, the lighter shade like I showed you I'm going to put it over this to see how it changes this and I'm going to take this off now but I was going to put my Hermes nail varnish on for tomorrow I'm not excited about putting the Hermes orangey red one on because I'm, I'm so excited about these colours just now uh, when I go out I like a red orangey red that's my colour for going out I'm, I'm weird I just I have certain colours for certain occasions. Even with nail varnishes, I even have a weirdness with nail varnish. Okay. Update on the booby. It's still sore, but it's definitely getting better. Definitely getting better. Because it would be even so I think you're gonna fall off again. It would be even so when I was like just getting out the bed. You know, moving without holding it. I'm, I'm going to switch off. I'm going to stand at the lights here. It's amber, so I shall stop. And I shall take you off the stand because I think you're going to fall and I really don't want you falling. Question in. two. Did he finish making the bed? No. Just as I left everything. <laughs> <sighs> All that needs to go on are those two pillowcases, which are his pillows, pillows, not, yeah, pillows, which are his the bedspread and the throw and all the cushions my god look look at me harassed people right let's get organized in this okay. house i have the makeup on i have changed i just changed my top and i'm gonna go and get myself an aperol spritzer which i've never ever drank before in my entire life but um i'm gonna try it today I see everybody on Instagram with it and I said it's really cool. I need to try it, so I'm gonna try it. Let me just show you my outfit, and then I'm gonna go and do my reviews on my bags. And this is today's outfit, so I just put on this little top, which I love, and these very, very, very old Karen Mellon trousers, which I've had for years and years and years and years, because I'm, I'm a, to these khakis people just loving all of that and of course on my feet my special no shoes <laughs> oh my god and I'm going nowhere <laughs> let's go get uh uh aspro aspro what's it called also let me just hide the address but we go we passed, of course we passed. I say we. <laughs> I say we. Any, you gonna make this for me now? We have ice. What's the real one called? Aperol. Aperol. I can't believe I've never tasted it. Let me just taste what apple tastes so first of all. Mm. No, it's not bitter. Mm -hmm. No, it's much my lipstick. It's quite sweet actually. Taste it, just taste it. Oh, that was a big pop, pop, pop. Mm, excited. I haven't pushed them out either, by the way. Okay. Whatever that. Put it on the dash. It's supposed to be a spritz. Let me taste it like that. There we go. He's beautiful, people. It's beautiful. Okay. We are now going to review the bags. The hardest part of the, of the video is starting it. I've done no research. I am going to speak from the heart when I do it. Cheers. I'm going to speak through the <laughs> What's it called? Aperol. Through the Aperol spritzer. It's so easy to drink. It's too easy to drink. Too easy to drink. 